Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the um, little cupcake charms that I make. It, those, this is what they look like from the side. Okay, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need an eye pin or a head pin. I like head pins the best because every time I use an eye pin, they tend to fall out. So I just like head pins. Head pins <coughs> are the ones that have the little like nail type top. Okay. So I didn't have orange clay. Somebody requested I use orange and yellow. So I made it. I used this glittery red with this glittery yellow and I mixed it and got orange. So that is orange. I know it's like hard to tell with this lighting, but it's orange. And this is yellow. Um, you can tell it's orange when you put it next to the red, I guess. But um, I also am going to put a cherry on this, so I've got a little bit of red. And I'm going to do brown for the bottom, which I probably shouldn't do because this brown's pretty soft. But I'm going to anyways. And you'll need something to make the lines on the side of the cupcake with. And you can use a number of things. I have clay tools, but I can't find the right one, so I'm just going to use this one. Oh, here it is. This is the one I was using earlier. Um, but yeah, so you're going to take and you're going to roll the bottom, which is the brown for this one, into a ball. And then you're going to kind of flatten the top and kind of bend, like, bend it into like a cone like that using something to keep the top flat so it's kind of like a cone and then you're just gonna like flatten it out you can use a table whatever okay so that's your bottom and that's pretty much it for the bottom I mean you can work with it and get it like more perfect if you want um, but like it's cupcake so it really doesn't matter cuz like as I say I mean obviously you're not gonna eat clay but if it was a real cupcake, you're just going to put it in your mouth and eat it. So, as long as it looks yummy, who cares if it's perfect. Um, so, there's the bottom. Set that aside. Now, for the swirly part, which is, I think, the part that is actually needed, the tutorial is needed for. Um, again, you want to work with the lighter colors first. The red clay that I have has a lot of red dye in it. So, every time I touch it, I get red on my fingers. Like... Even if I just touch it, like, a little bit. See, there's, like, red all over my fingers, so. Um, you want to keep some kind of wet nap chilling. So you're going to take your ball of yellow, and you're going to roll it out with your fingers. I'm sure you all know how to roll clay. If not, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just start rolling it, and then it kind of does the shape, and... You just keep making it thinner and thinner without trying to break it. Get it as thin as you can to where it's still, like, usable. Like, you don't want it to be so thin that, like, when you pick it up, it's going to break. But, you know, like a spaghetti stick. And then you do the same thing with the orange. I'm actually going to break a little bit of this off because I don't really need that much. Um, and again, the dye is going to get all over my fingers. So you're going to roll the orange out. And the yellow and orange are glittery. So I really like that because it's going to make them kind of sparkle. Probably could use a little bit more orange, but that's okay. Alrighty. You want them to be a semi-even as far as the length goes, but it doesn't really matter. Like, mine are a little longer. So you're going to grab them at one end, make them even, and just start twisting. Just like that. Um, I'm using the Fimo FX clay. It's pretty soft. So you have to be careful not to smash it. So when you're doing this, you want to touch it really lightly. Um, and just keep twisting until you get to the end. 
when you get to the end, if you have excess, you can pinch it off, like, of whatever color. Okay. The next step is to take and start to coil it. Like, you kind of want to press it down into the top of the bottom of the cupcake just a little bit, and then you want to run this right around the edge. See how I'm kind of putting it? It's kind of like sticking out over the thing a little bit. And then once you get to the second layer, you want to kind of start bringing it inside a little bit. Like that. And you just keep going farther. In. See, it's kind of hollow in there. Um, just keep going farther and farther inside until you get it to the top. And you can kind of like softly push push it in a little if you need like if you need it to have a little more at the top. And then I kind of just leave the top like that so it's like got a little swirl. So that's our brown and orange cupcake. And then for the sides, all you're going to do is take any flat instrument, it doesn't have to be a clay tool, and you just make lines. Be careful that you're not pushing the top. Try to evenly space them and make them straight because when you have a real cupcake paper, they are straight. Um, So that's how you make the outside a little cupcake. You can kind of like push it down softly just to make sure it's like it's gonna stay, sit up if you like if you want yours to sit up. Like I mean mine don't sit up perfectly, they do sit up, but Anyways, and then I'm going to make a little, I want like a little cherry, so I'm going to take a little piece of red clay. On these, I made the cherry kind of like a little pink bead. I don't know if you can even see that. Like, it's right here. It's super small. It's on the eye pin. Um, you can see it better on this one because it's not pink. But, um... This one I'm gonna do an actual cherry, but I'm gonna do it after I put the eye pin or the head pin through. So I put the head pin in through the bottom, I stick it right in the center. Now after I get it through the you'll feel it, like when you get it through the cupcake, you'll feel like the hollow part on the inside. You wanna try to like get that in the center, like And I kind of like to twist the top of the cupcake around the um, head pin just a little bit. Kind of keeps it to, like sticking up a little. Um, but that's hollow in there, so you don't want to push too hard. And then I'm going to stick my little cherry on there. Just like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to add like sprinkles, you can use micro marbles. You can use regular marbles. You can use glitter. Um, probably don't do it until you bake it. Um, micro marbles you can add before you bake. It's just when I did it on these, they didn't stick anyways. Like I had them on there before I baked it. So just glaze it and then sprinkle them. Or like dab them with your paintbrush on there, like the paintbrush you use to glaze it. Um, don't try to snip the head pin off or bend it into an eye loop until after you bake it. Um, and the baking instructions should be on the uh, package. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.